Hey everybody. Here we have a machine that I'm attempting to upgrade the Windows 10 from an existing Windows 7 installation. Here's what happens upon the first reboot. Watching, let's see it not do it here on camera. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it works. But it looks to boot up as normal. This is the first reboot of the machine, and you get re you get greeted with this. Choose your keyboard layout. Which is not normal. You choose the layout and you're greeted with recovery options. And it's funny you have reset this PC in advanced options. Yeah, ain't that, ain't that amazing? You try to upgrade to Windows 10 and you get this. Of course, I reboot the machine. It'll actually boot back into Windows 7, and you'll get a message saying that that it failed. Let's see what happens if I choose reset this PC just for fun. Remove everything. Let's try it. Oh, of course, that was a problem because it was never <laughs> it, was, it was never installed to begin with. Let's just try these different options here. You like previous build and it went ran to a problem. <laughs> yes, you try resetting your current build. So if we turn off the machine, you know, so there's no option there. Says, there's no option there that says continue into Windows 10. We're going to start it back up. You know, it's amazing, the vast majority of machines I deal with, when it's 10 upgrades, are seamless. But you always have a select few that you just can't do it with. I've tried disabling, like, every single piece of hardware in this thing. You know, the um, peripheral devices, like, like the LAN, the audio, um, ports, things like that. I've disabled them, and it still fails. Now note I'm using a flash drive, a USB flash drive. I may try it on a CD and see what happens, just for, just for the heck of it. I've tried this with, um, I've already tried it with the latest build, which is Redstone 1. And I tried it with Threshold 2, which is on the flash drive right now. And I get the same exact issue. See, so we're booting back into 107. And there you go. The installation failed in a safe underscore OS phase with an error during boot operation. I usually usually you would get this message if um, it try it, it fails to boot up on the first um, restart, but it just it's really 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 weird. So I may try it with a CD and report back and see what it does. Okay. Doing a CD does the same thing in regards to doing a upgrade. Let's try doing a clean install see what happens. Now previously with the flash drive, if I tried to do a clean install, what it would do is it would ask me for drivers for you know before really even getting started into setup, which is kinda odd. 
but we'll see what it does with the CD instead of the flash drive. This is a it's a late 2006 e machines machine, and I want you guys to see what it does here and what the BIOS on this motherboard does here. You hear it's reading the CD. It's asking for select CD-ROM boot type. And it doesn't tell you what each one is. I just press 1 and enter and then you get this. Which is very odd. Okay, after about two or three minutes, we're finally at this screen here. Yeah, that DVD drive is kind of filthy. Let's see what we get here. We'll install, and let's see if it wants us to install a driver right off the bat. Now, mind you, I have the, um, <clears throat> you know, the SATA settings on this, I have it set to legacy, which should resolve, you know, these kinds of issues. But generally, you know, a Westlake like Windows 10 should generally have already had the drivers needed for such an older machine. Okay. Okay, we're actually getting a little bit further with this one. So then we'll just go and continue the install. I'm going to actually skip this right now. So I don't have a product key. Install Pro. Now I'd be curious to see um, you know, when you do a Windows 10 upgrade to a Windows 7 machine. I'm curious to know there, there's a you know there's a process to where it <clears throat> see we couldn't find any drives. Interesting. Well, okay, I was able to locate. An Intel AHCI driver and loaded onto this USB stick. Now, in the BIOS, it showed under drive options, it showed enhanced and legacy, but it didn't specify whether it was AHCI or IDE mode. Another interesting thing is I had just installed 7 on this yesterday and didn't run into this, but we'll attempt to do a driver load and see what happens here. Let's see if I can even see the flash drive. Okay, so apparently this thing is not even seeing USB devices, so with all that's going on with it, um, including the very unusual message that pops up before you get the prompt to boot off of a CD or DVD, I'm going to try updating the BIOS on this machine and see what we can get from that. Okay, see so if I can even find the BIOS for this thing. Because I know how difficult it can be to find drivers for e-machines computers. This is like a late 2006 machine if I didn't mention already. Looks like Drivers Collection may have it. And one thing I want to suggest if you go to these driver sites, before you click on download, look carefully at the URL because a lot of times they like to promote these like driver update utilities and whatnot. You can probably see it right here on your screen when you're probably trying to promote one. So this looks legit.
camera froze up there. I'm using my ZI6 number one, which is having some issues. I gotta make repairs to ZI6 number two. Like, yay, it updated successfully. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and try the Windows 10 upgrade again and see what happens. Okay, I went ahead and loaded the installation files for Redstone Windows 10 onto the flash drive. We're gonna try this one more time. I'm not really expecting a difference here, but we shall see. Which, by the way, when I um when I run this up upgrade install I select the option to um, <clears throat> keep nothing no programs or existing files so essentially a clean install except the license terms it's one thing I hate about the um, one is installer upgrade installer is it doesn't allow you to choose what to keep before it goes to this making sure you're ready to install and checking to see if your PC has enough space thing watch this you see how it's doing it now and by default it'll have selected you know keep apps and files see if I change what to keep, I can choose nothing. And next, and look here. Making sure you're ready to install. Making sure your PC has enough space. So we're just doing a redo of what it just did. Click install and we'll just see what it does. I'll go ahead and leave this camera recording, but it might freeze up <laughs> the way it's been behaving today. Alright, let's see what happens here. Make sure the CD was out of the drive. Got DVD writer. So you get the loading files thing and the Windows 10 boot animation. See what happens this time. You see that brief one thing as a command prompt. That ah, the same thing. Choose your keyboard layout. So I take it this machine here is just not wanting Windows 10. Yeah. No matter what you try, it seems. Windows 7 installs perfectly fine, but you can forget about getting Windows 10 on there. So I guess it's one to seven to stay. 
Yeah, is that crazy or what? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about this very weird issue if you try to upgrade a Windows 10 on this machine. Thanks for watching.